So these exercises are called T, Y's, W's and L's. Now these are fantastic exercises to start to introduce healthy end range of motion to the shoulder joints. Now you would have probably been prescribed these if you have upper back pain or shoulder pain, or if we're just trying to introduce uh, or increase capacity for your shoulders at an early stage. Now for most patients, we're advised to do these until the pain reaches to about a three out of 10, but you want to aim the intensity for a six to seven out of 10. So if you can control the pain by doing say less reps and then increasing your reps slowly, or by using a smaller range of motion and then gradually increasing the range of motion, keeping a three out of 10 level of pain, uh, your cap. So if 10 is excruciating, zero is no pain at all, three out of 10, three to four is a perfect place to be. If you can keep to that three and keep the intensity of the movement, so the effort that you're putting into the movements at six to seven out of 10, 10 being max effort, then that is the perfect place to be. Now, I'm going to show you how to do these. Um, you'll see a couple of the movements, just my right arm moving, but obviously if the walls are in the way, both my arms would be moving, but I'll demonstrate. So, I'll show you how we're gonna do this. We're going to lay on your front, and first we're gonna do the L's. So from here, you're gonna have your head on the floor here, and you're gonna relax your arms by your side. Now the first movement, see how my shoulders are dropped? We're gonna pinch our shoulders together, and then take our hands up to the ceiling as far as we can. Now my heart, hands aren't venturing out here, they're keeping nice and close to my side. Up and down, squeezing the shoulders together to this position and down. And you'll do that 10 times. You can hold the weight in your hands when you're doing this as well, if those 10 reps start to become a bit too easy. Now for the T's and for the W's, I'm placing my right hand out here, right? But Obviously, if the walls are in my way, both hands would be up. Now, for this position, you're going to take the hand up to the ceiling. Now, you can reduce the pain or change the sensation by turning the hand the other way and do the same thing. You might find that is more comfortable for you. But on both sides, you're going to go up and down 10 times, making sure you're pinching the shoulder blade as you go. So those are T's. W's here. You're going to place your arm here, and then from this position, with the arm elbow at 90 degrees, you can bring the hand up or down, depending on where you want it, want it to be, wherever it's comfortable. And from this position, up to the side, back down again. Up to the side, and back down again. Once again, doing that for 10 repetitions. And then last of all, we've got our Ys. The hand all the way up here, head down. Oh, sorry. Yeah, on both arms, because the ball's working away this time. And then from here, hands facing down, up to the ceiling, back down. This is the hardest movement, in my opinion. Shoulder blades together, arms straight, and go back down again. If the movement is minimal, it's not a problem. Just do your best, give those exercises a go. Three out of 10 level of pain, six to seven out of 10 level of effort. And uh, if you have any issues, then just contact your practitioner. Thank you.